Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy and romance movie from 2021 called He's All That. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a girl named Paget who quickly puts on her makeup after waking up and immediately goes live online to chat with her fans. She's an influencer, so she spends some time giving beauty tips and answering questions from her followers. After her live session, she gets ready for school, leaving her vibrant pink room for a plain hallway in her modest house. She has a quick conversation with her mom, who mentions the long hours she works at the hospital to pay the bills. Paget then excitedly checks her mail and finds a $3,000 check from a brand she promotes. She thinks about buying more designer shoes, but her mom suggests saving some for college. As the story progresses, we see how Paget's influencer career and brand deals bring in a lot of money, allowing her to maintain a glamorous image. She pretends to live in a luxury house by hanging out at an upscale apartment complex and having her friends pick her up from there. Her best friends, Alden and Quinn, arrive in a convertible and they all go to surprise her boyfriend, Jordan, who is filming a music video. Meanwhile, siblings Bryn and Cameron are on their way to school. Cameron is an unpopular and mysterious student known by few and even his sister Bryn feels embarrassed to be seen with him at school. She avoids him but he has a friend, Nisha, who is also an outsider. They get along very well. Bryn loves Jordan's music, but Cameron teases her, calling it lame. Back to Paget, she arrives at Jordan's video shoot with a homemade cake. Before entering, she asks Alden to live stream the surprise on TikTok. When she enters, she is shocked to find Jordan kissing a backup dancer. The girl apologizes and expresses her admiration for Paget. Upset, Paget throws the cake and has a meltdown, all while being live streamed to millions of fans. She screams that they're over, and Alden points out she's still live. Horrified, Paget sees her face on the phone, tears, smeared makeup, and a runny nose. She quickly grabs the phone from Alden and ends the live stream. The next day, Paget is upset and refuses to leave her room. Her mom tries to comfort her, saying breakups are hard, but things will improve. Paget worries not just about the breakup, but also about the humiliation in front of her followers. Quinn calls to check on her. Paget pretends she's fine and is glad that Jordan's true colors were revealed. However, Quinn urges her to check TikTok. Paget goes online and discovers she's gone viral for the wrong reasons. A video of her crying with a snot bubble has turned her into a meme, destroying her perfect image. She then receives a call from Jessica, the CEO of the beauty product company she represents. Jessica ends their contract due to the incident, but mentions they might work together again once things calm down. At school, Quinn and Alden talk about the incident with Alden, suggesting that it was bound to happen because Paget had a lot going for her. Good grades, a handsome boyfriend, and a corporate sponsor. When Paget shows up at school, everyone teases her while Jordan becomes more popular. Paget and her friends recall how Jordan used to be overweight and awkward before she gave him a makeover. They joke about her doing it again with someone else. Right then, the announcement for the prom king and queen contest is made. Paget decides to make an unpopular guy into prom king to show she still got it and to irritate Jordan. Alden doubts she can do it and they start looking for the right guy. They spot Cameron who is taking pictures of a trash can and calling it deep. Online, he has hardly any presence, just one old tweet. He's known for being weird, self-centered, and a loner, and he's often bullied by Jordan, making him perfect for their challenge. The next day, Paget asks Cameron to help photograph a fundraiser, but he refuses when he learns it's related to the prom, which he dislikes. Bryn apologizes for her brother's standoffish attitude and explains he dislikes all the students. Paget finds out Cameron volunteers at a horse stable, so she visits him there the next day for horseback riding lessons. After helping him clean the stable, they ride horses, joke around, and even fall and laugh together. Back at school, Paget thanks Cameron for the lessons and invites him and Nisha to a karaoke party. Initially hesitant, Cameron decides to go after Nisha shows interest. At the party, Paget sings beautifully until Jordan arrives with another girl, making her anxious. Cameron steps in to help, and they end up giving a great performance that wins the crowd over. Later, he drives her home, and Paget leaves her purse in his truck as an excuse to see him again. The next day, Bryn peppers Cameron with questions about him and Paget, making him nervous. Meanwhile, Paget gets a call from Jessica, who saw their viral duet video. Jessica is impressed and tells Paget if she can make Cameron more popular than Jordan, the brand deal is hers. Bryn shows Cameron the viral video, embarrassing him. When Paget calls to say she left something in his truck, despite Cameron's reluctance, Bryn invites her over. During another writing lesson, Paget and Cameron bond more. Paget confesses her worries about life after high school since losing her sponsorship, while Cameron shares his dream of traveling the world to take photos. He teases her about always taking selfies, and she retorts about his unnoticed photography. 
He then takes her to an old train station to show her his street photography, introducing her to a new and intriguing world. Later, while having coffee, Paget asks Cameron why he lives with his grandma. He explains that after their mom died in a car accident, his dad moved to Sweden. He mentions that the camera he uses belonged to his mom. Hearing this, Paget shares her own story about her parents' divorce and how hard her mom works as a nurse to support her. She then invites him to Aiden's Great Gatsby-themed birthday party, and Cameron agrees to come, asking if he can bring some friends. In the next scene, Paget, Cameron, Nisha, and Bryn shop for party outfits. Paget gives Cameron a makeover, cutting his hair and dressing him in a suit, and it's clear she likes him. At Aiden's party, everyone is surprised by Cameron's new look. Jordan, who is also there, has been dumped by his girlfriend. He tries to get back with Paget, but she rejects him. Jordan then makes a move on Bryn, but she leaves him and tells Cameron what happened. Angry, Cameron confronts Jordan and they end up fighting, with Cameron humiliating Jordan in front of everyone. Seeking revenge, Jordan throws Cameron's prized camera into the pool. Cameron retrieves it and leaves the party, with Paget following to apologize for Jordan's actions. Cameron questions why Paget is suddenly so interested in him, but she can't answer. That night, Paget is removing her makeup and starts a live stream to discuss how focusing on looks isn't as important as who you surround yourself with. She's interrupted by a text from Jessica who saw the viral videos and plans to call about their sponsorship. The next day, Cameron is the center of attention at school because of his fight with Jordan. Initially uncomfortable, he gets excited about possibly becoming prom king just to annoy Jordan. Later, Paget runs into Jordan and Alden, now a couple. Alden admits to sabotaging Paget during the breakup. Alden and Quinn reveal they knew about Paget's financial struggles but kept quiet out of pity. While talking with Quinn, Cameron arrives and apologizes for his behavior. He then takes Paget to a dark room where he keeps his photographs and they kiss. Bryn tells Cameron to invite Paget to prom. He does, but Alden interrupts and reveals her bet with Paget about making a loser prom king. Heartbroken, Cameron believes Paget used him and storms off. On prom night, after a serious talk with her mom, Paget goes alone. She talks to Bryn, who encourages her to reconcile with Cameron. At the prom, Paget and Jordan are named king and queen. In her speech, Paget admits her social media persona is fake, shows her real house, and resigns her crown. The principal announces Celeste as the new queen. Afterward, Cameron, moved by Paget's speech, meets her outside on a horse. They apologize and kiss. Months later, Paget and Cameron are in Portugal, traveling as part of a bet. They both get tattoos labeled Loser, and the movie ends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.